All right, y'all, so y'all need more cooking videos, or at least me talking and cooking video videos. So let's start cooking. Basically, today what we're, we're gonna do is called sopa de conchitas, and that just translates to shell soup. And, and so, Basically, that just means this soup. So, that soup. These are shell soup. So, yeah. What we are going to do is, well, first, the ingredients that you're going to need is a little bit of oil. Um, obviously, the soup. You, I'm going to use tomato sauce. But you can also use tomatoes, like real tomatoes. I just happen to not have tomatoes. So we're using this. Salt to taste and water is all we need. So very fast, very simple. So let's get to it. I hope my phone doesn't fall from here, but basically, you're gonna turn the stove on and you could use this or anything that you think is gonna fit for a soup. I'm just using this because it's like non-sticky. So yeah, um, let me dry the water. Nice. And then we're just gonna pour some oil. Um, not a lot, a little goes a long way. You see, I think that's a lot, but um, we'll make it work. And oop, 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 that's way too much. Um, okay. Hopefully that's enough. And you just want to mix it in there. Make sure the fire is on medium high heat. And the way I know what medium high heat is, is I get the biggest, I get the biggest circle thing and then I put it halfway you know that's what medium high heat is to me and we just move these around until they start getting toasted so I'm gonna put this up and then I'll be right back as it gets more toasted just so you can see so as you can see some things are getting toasted already and we basically want all of that for all of the sopa so we'll just continue moving it around As you can see, since it's starting to toast even faster, I'm gonna turn the heat down. And I'm just gonna keep moving it around so that it doesn't burn because we want toasted shells, not burned shells, burnt shells, whatever. All right, perfect. So this should be good. So I'm just gonna turn it all the way down so that they don't burn while I get a lid because I'm gonna need a lid and I don't know how I'm gonna do this because watch. All right, so with my lid ready because I know it's gonna go everywhere. You're gonna wanna add the tomato sauce or your homemade tomato sauce. So it could be store-bought or homemade. And you're gonna pour it in there. But because I know that it's gonna be like jumping everywhere, I'm just gonna pour it in quickly and then like cover it, so. Y'all, I wasn't even recording. So basically, after the jumping has calmed down, you just wanna Finish pouring the sauce, mix it in for it to get seasoned. And you can start turning it up a little bit. Or you can wait till the end. I'll just do this really quickly. But you're gonna fill up two of these and pour it in here. So. Oh. 
turning up the heat to medium high now. Then you wanna mix it around so it mixes with the water. Hope my phone doesn't fall. I'm turning this all the way to high heat because I need it to boil. And while it starts boiling, um, it's salt to taste. So I can't really tell you how much it needs. You're just gonna have to taste it. But maybe a teaspoon and then go from there. I like to use sea salt because I'm just used to it, but I also like Himalayan salt. So whatever salt you use is fine. And that's why it is salt. It's salt to taste because like not all the salt is the same and some salts might be saltier with a little bit and some might take more so that's kind of like up to you and I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper just cuz not that much okay that's it you don't have to if you don't want to but I'm starting to incorporate more pepper into my cooking, so yeah. And so for this pasta, it says to cook it for... Good question. It doesn't say? Oh, seven to nine minutes. So after it's boiling, I'm gonna cook it for seven minutes. So as you can see, it's starting to boil. So I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna turn it down back to low medium heat. So maybe number three. Yes. Maybe number three and a half. By number four. No, I'll keep it at three and seventy five. Okay, first seven minutes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll come back in seven minutes. So the timer just beeped and oop, that is hot. So be careful. And yeah, also, so it doesn't look like it's that cooked, but we all like our pasta different, so cook your pasta to your taste. And I think it needs a little bit more water, but it's never too late to add more water. I'm just adding half of that. Yep, that should be good. And again, salt to taste because the water might have diluted it, but I think we're fine. So, because I am hungry RN, um, I put some ice in here. I already showed y'all what it looked like, so now I'm gonna serve myself some. And then I'll show you how, what it looks like again. But be more careful. Oh, and be extra careful, because this is like really hot. Like, extra hot. And I'm just going to finish melting the ice in there. As you can see, all the smoke, it's really hot. But yeah, so that's going to be the thumbnail. You see the ice is melting really fast, which means the soup is really hot.
and fine i will do a taste test because this is yummy um Like I said, salt to taste. Um, it's missing a little bit of salt, but I'm gonna eat this with chips, so it's actually good because those chips are salted, tortilla chips. And had I not put in water, it would have been fine. Right now, I can taste that it's a little watery, but I don't care. So I would say to not add the extra water that I added, but it's good, so I'm gonna eat it and watch some videos and hope you enjoyed this recipe.